All right, for some reason, you guys have been asking me for about six months to make a donut tutorial. All right, you win. Okay, fine, I'll do it. If you want to talk with other builders or even chat with me sometimes, then you can join the Discord using the link in the description and then go to the Alpine Videos channel. All right, we're in the city of Monstera, which is my new solo project. And we have this lot on the corner here, which we're gonna use. And what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna have the donut shape kind of in the middle set on top of a building. And then the bottom part is gonna kind of work with the shape and it's gonna be a library. All right, so not a chance I'm building this by hand. I'm gonna use a little bit of world edit and a little bit of math. And by math, I mean a formula that I found online because I'm too lazy to figure it out myself. So I'm going to expand 39 this way. So my selection is now 40 blocks by 40 blocks. I'm going to expand it by 40 up. And this is the command right here. The H is to make it hollow. This is our material. So it is dark gray glass. And then the rest of this here is just our equation. So press enter and then we get a donut. So my plan here is to split this up into two floors. Uh, I might make it a little bit shorter because that's a little bit too big, I think. Okay, so I found another one that I like. I just changed this last 0.3 to 0.25. I think that's a little bit better. All right, so let's figure out our ceiling height. So this is our ground floor. I'm gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a gap of two. So we actually need to figure out where we want the bottom floor to be. So what I think I'm gonna do is since this is really narrow in here, I'm gonna fill this with glowstone. So fill 89, 89 is glowstone, radius of 30, depth of one. And then the actual material here, I'm gonna just pick this for now. This is not going to be our final material, but I just wanna do it for planning sake. So instead of 89, I'm holding it in my hand. So I'm gonna do that. All right, and then this is halfway up. Let's see, let's go right here. Then we'll do the same thing, it's all the way around. And then down by one, we're going to make the ceiling a cyan, just so it's easier to change. And then we're gonna leave the top so it's all glass. Right, so here's a quick plan. So this is just a side profile view of the donut shape. And I wanna have a cool pattern that kind of spirals inwards. This is looking from the top down. So we have the actual donut shape itself. And then this is an elevator. This is an elevator. This is a sky bridge between it. And then this is going to be set on top on a diagonal. And then I was thinking about putting supports like this with five underneath, but I think instead we're gonna go with this one. So this one is just a rough sketch where I have walls that have a reveal here and it reveals some glass behind it and the doors to the main entrance. So you can go into the bottom floor here and then inside I'm thinking maybe kind of an atrium. All right, so we're working with gray stained glass. So I think I wanna keep the overall theme relatively dark. So for the walls down here, I wanna go with maybe something of this tone here. I don't wanna use wool because I think it looks a little bit odd. So obsidian's a good option. That's our pavement, so I don't wanna use that. I want something kind of with a texture. So I feel like this is a little bit too dry. Oh, we have our piston here too. Okay, that's a good option. We could do a blend. Actually, yeah, let's go with that. And then for our reveal wall, I'm going to take this one here. So let's plan this out. I want to have something like this actually, maybe back a little bit. So this is going to be the wall that is behind the reveal. And since we're gonna to wanna to change the material underneath anyway, I'm going to go here and I'm just gonna change this just for now. Okay, so in our drawing, this was brought up to a point. So I'm gonna pull this right up here, make sure that's in line with that. And then pull this over. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this down at a two to one ratio. So it's gonna go sideways two for every one down. And we'll see if that works. So this is the center. So I wanna make sure that it hits the bottom before it hits the center, because it has to go back up on the other side. Okay, so these two blocks, this in the middle is our center line and we're gonna work off that. So we wanna make this symmetrical. So we only have to do one side of this. Okay, so that's a pretty flat surface. So we're gonna take our piston and then we're just gonna add a little bit extra to it. And then we can take this out there because I want this to go like this and it's going to be one behind. See, this is the top of our ceiling 
and then this becomes the actual ceiling itself. So I don't want glass all the way up. So I'm gonna do this. And then we can pull this across, okay? And then we can delete this. Okay, so it comes to a point. It doesn't look too bad. So we're gonna take this whole thing. We are going to copy it. We're gonna flip it and then paste it. Okay, so our next step here, we're gonna take this and then make this corner look the same here. And then I wanna put this corner on there and also on there. Actually, first I wanna change this glass a little bit because I don't know how I feel about this flat part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out, pull this back a little bit, and then I'm gonna make this a two to one ratio. All right, so this is a little bit more of a point than I would like. So I think if we take this one out here, it looks a little bit more like a curve and I think it complements the donut on top a little bit more. So we're gonna copy, we're gonna rotate 270 degrees and we need to paste it on that side. But the issue is this doesn't go all the way to the end. So we need to figure out the distance between this edge and the actual edge. So this lines up with this one. So the offset is only one. So we copied it from down here. We rotated it from here to here. So if we find the edge of this one here, come all the way down, walk straight this way, and since the offset was one, we're gonna go one this way. Look up here, paste without air, which is your minus A, and then there you go, it's in the right spot. We're gonna do this once more. I don't wanna have one back here, I wanna do something else back here, but I do want it over here. So again, find the edge, go down, go all the way out, and then over by one, look back this way, double slash, paste minus A, and there you go. All right, now our job is to make this back portion here. And I wanna see how wide this is because I wanna see and decide if I want to actually bring this out this way and attach it there, or if I wanna stack another one of these over. So that's 10 wide. And from here to here, that's 11. So we could put another one. Okay, to make this a little bit easier to look at, I'm gonna take this out now and I'm gonna pull this down to the level that we actually need it at. Okay, so these lights right here, this is on the ceiling which means it needs to line up with this here because this is also our ceiling. So if we go in here and I'm just gonna pull this out here and go right here and cut the rest of these off, double slash cut, double slash paste, minus A, no air. So now we see the bedrock here lines up with the glowstone so it's on the same level. So since we're gonna have this flat wall on the other side, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dig into here and then I'm going to add a handful of just small vertical windows just to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of character. And a little trick that I like to use instead of just having this, what I'll do sometimes is I'll take out one like this and then it just gives it kind of a cool pattern. And then maybe I want it on the last one as well. So let's stack it by one. And then if we go back over onto this side, we can just pull this off right here. Okay, so if we want this walkway through the middle here, we need to find the 45 degree point so it's right here, sorry, nope, I was wrong. It's right here. It's a little bit hard to tell, but we're looking at the circle itself. So you see how this curves around here a little bit. So you have one and one, and you have your one, two, one, two, and then just one here. So this is your midpoint. So I wanna use this space a little bit maybe for archives, I guess. So instead of having this go up here and then straight across, I wanna pull this out a little bit and then maybe we'll have some glass right here and then put this right here. There we go, so we have a bit of an entrance now. We can walk in here, maybe have a, a big tree in here and then you get this cool view of all these towers. So I talked about this concept in one of my old videos. There's this concept called take the corner. So if I'm designing an urban space and I'm walking down somewhere, if I see a building that curves inwards or turns into a diagonal. This right turn feels a lot more inviting compared to if it was just a flat wall like this. Turning this way doesn't feel very inviting, but if you go this way, it's diagonal. So it says, hey, take the corner. So let's do a quick design for some interior windows here. Put bedrock on the bottom, put some panes here. And then this is a slightly lighter gray glass and we're just gonna use that for the top. So copy it from the corner, go to this corner, rotate 270 and paste. Same thing again, rotate 270 degrees, paste, 
and then once more. So we can check that it's in the right spot. So this should be three, and fourth one is good. All right, so here's the plan for the structural engineering side. So this is a cross-section view of the donut, and this is the center line for the donut. So we're looking at it from the side if you cut it. So we're gonna have one column coming up through here, and you have your footing down here that goes into the ground. So this is your first floor. This is the first floor of the donut, and then this is the upper floor. So essentially, we're gonna have this column, and then we're gonna have a slab here, and then a slab here, and then both of these sides here are gonna be cantilevered out. And then I wanna try and line up here with the edge of the inside radius as much as I possibly can, just to try and save some space. So we're gonna go ahead and do that by placing this here, pulling this all the way up. And then we will stack this down as well once we get down there. All right, so I have an idea for what kind of color scheme I want. So I'm going to replace pink with my hands and this is stripped jungle wood. So now that we have this, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna put it all around. All right, now all of our exterior walls are done. So we know exactly where the ceiling needs to be. So now we know which blocks we can delete for the glass. Okay, so the inside ceiling is all finished. So I think our next step is we take our columns, our ones that kind of look like I-beams and we're just gonna bring it down to the bottom floor. Okay, before we go any further here, I just wanna clean up the materials a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little bit more consistent and more inviting in here. And then I'm gonna decorate the inside of this part right here. All right, now that the colors look a little bit more consistent, I'm gonna go ahead and make an elevator in the middle and also add some stairs. So I'm gonna use this as the location for the first elevator. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna duplicate it and put it right in front of that window right there. So now we need to find a place to put the stairs. All right, there we go. So we have our staircase coming down here. All right, our second staircase is in and it makes it feel a lot more kind of cut off from the rest of the build. So it's, it's gonna be a nice and cozy spot up here. All right, so the thing that I forget most often is making washrooms. So I'm thinking of putting them back here since it is up against blank walls. And then maybe back here, we can have our archive room or sorting room. And then if we come over here, this right here maybe can be our main desk. And if we come back to our main entrance here, if we take a left, this is going to be a lobby. We're gonna have some chairs, stuff like that around here just to relax. And then back here, maybe we can just have an event space. All right, so I finished half of the bottom of the first floor. I haven't done that yet. I'm about to go do that. But this is just part of the lobby and you have your reception desk here. And I added these things overhead just as little details because I thought there wasn't a whole lot going on. You know, I added some bookshelves on an angle here, more of them there. Added a ladder just for decoration. And then I added some seats over here, kind of tucked back here looking out towards the window. So if you want to grab a book, you can come over here and read and just look out the window and you don't have to really worry about people walking by because they're all going to be walking back here. And you have washrooms, so men's washroom, women's washroom, and then just a, a third one there. And then you have more bookshelves back here just for organization, another ladder. Actually, I'm going to take that top one off there. And then you have your elevator shaft and then your other one hiding over there. So, okay, I'm going to go do the other half and then I'll come back when I'm done. All right, so now the other side's all done. So same thing up here, the same decorations that we were using before. Uh, when we walk in here, I, it felt really open. So I wanted to make this area feel a little bit cozy. So we have seating here, we have bookshelves here, and then we have more seating here and then some more bookshelves behind there. And it's kind of framed by this column right here. So over here is kind of the same thing as the other side. We have some four block tall bookshelves kind of offset going on a diagonal here and more seating back here. More bookshelves back there. We have our stairs right here. And then over here is more of kind of a workstation and then a little bit more seating over there. So now I'm going to decorate the next floor up here and then we will be back when that is finished. All right, if we head upstairs, it's, uh, it's pretty basic. So I just went with the general theme of kind of the diagonal bookshelves here. And then there's a lot of ladders going up so you can uh, reach the books. I added some torches because I don't really want to add lights on the ceiling. So I think torches make it uh, a little bit more ambient. And these are the torches here. They're just uh, lights for us and keep it back. Some nice little nooks kind of in the corner here. Handful of uh, places to sit. So you just sit here, read a book. You know, nobody's going to disturb you or anything. Lots of hidden spots. 
And then the occasional carpet as well, just to make it a little bit more comfy. You have your stairs going up again. Nice big open window here. And then this is the end of it. And if you just come around here, it just brings you back to the stairs. All right, so I'm going to go up to the top floor, furnish that, and then I will be right back once again. All right, and here we are on the top floor. Same thing as the one below, pretty common theme. And this here is just a little balcony I added with a sliding door. And I'm thinking about doing something. So this here, if we connected this by a sky bridge right over there, it would only have to go across and then up by one block. So I think I'm gonna add a sky bridge. All right, I think for this wall here, maybe I'll just indent it a little bit using some andesite walls. So I'll do that there. I'll do that over here. And then afterwards, I'm going to add some HVAC equipment up on here and then down here. This is really bland, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some cool lines on it and maybe some geometric patterns, you know, we'll see. 